Hello everybody, welcome to Meadow Grove. I believe that's what it says on the sign out there anyways. It's a, it's a welcoming kind of place. I like it here. It looks pretty cool. So, uh, we are here with Farmer Min. Well, he's not here here. He's over there at up the pig farm somewhere. Um, yeah, so Mr. Adrian, uh, we worked for on Mercury Farms, has bought a bunch of farms here in Meadow Grove. And giving us a pile of money and said, go, go get them to work. Make them make us some money. So uh, that's what we're doing. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, pretty excited. Check this thing out, huh? It's chain driven. Yeah, that's a chain driven baler. Interesting to see how that works. I uh, hope it works pretty good. So we come over here to grab this thing. This is at one of the arable farms that Adrian owns. So we mm, might get lost I think, I think maybe I can find my way back to where we're calling home anyways. Uh, basically, we have three different farms, or, uh, three main farms with the, the animals split on each of them. And I am staying at the sheep farm. Farmer Men is up at the pig farm. And we are going to split duties on the cow farm there. It's going to probably take the most work. So we're both going to go in on that one and, and do what needs to be done there. So that'll be pretty cool. Yeah, this doesn't look right. <laughs> I don't remember coming this way. We might just be on tour of the, the area here, but that's all right. There's a bunch of cool little roads around here. So, yeah, we got to get some hay bailed up. We have some sheep. Farmer Men is taking care of some pigs, so I think he's going to be combining some wheat, which will be in that field over there to our left. Can't see it now. That field up there will be the wheat field that he's going to harvest. Um... We have a few chickens running around as well. So some of that wheat we're going to need to give to the chickens. We're in dire need of some food here right off the bat. So <clears throat> going to hit the ground running. Um, speaking of hitting the ground, my plane was a little bit before Farmer Men's when we got here. So the first thing I did was grab a uh, force-written mower and go ahead and mow and ted one of these fields. I did that while I was waiting, and uh, now we're ready to go bail it up. So kind of glad I did. Worked out pretty good there. Oh. There is the bale trailer. We're sitting there waiting, hooked up to the 6 Series. That's another one of our rides. And I'll give you a tour of the place when we get back here. If I can remember where that field was that I cut, would be in good shape. Maybe it's this way. Maybe we're going the wrong way. Let's see here. I know we're driving on the wrong side of the road. We're good at that. We're going to have to get used to that thing. Um, yeah, this looks more like it. I think this is it. <laughs> That'd be way better. All right. Yeah, left the gate open and everything. That's got to be me. Eh, it sounds exactly like it. All right. So let's make some hay bales here. See how this thing does. If I can find some hay to pick up. Man, I just cut this the other day. This grass is already ready to cut again, isn't it? It's a good deal. We're going to need it. We're going to need all kinds of hay and grass, and especially once we buy some cows. Right now we have, I'll have to look to be sure, but we have, I think, 30 sheep and 10 or 15 pigs. And I think 25 chickens, so. That's all we got right now. Uh, the horses... Adrian had said something about us getting some horses ready. We don't, it's going to take us a little bit. We don't even have a horse pen right now. So um, that will be a future expansion project for Adrian's farms here. But uh, that barrel rolling is kind of kind of disorienting when you're backing up and it's still rolling the same direction. <clears throat> pretty cool. That's a pretty slick little baler there. I like that thing. See how it does when we get into some of these bigger windrows here. The outer edges I had all kind of thrown to the center, so a whole lot more product on the edges. So yeah, I got to get this. I got uh, we got the Ursus to pick them up with, and I need to run back to the store and grab some bale forks. I brought the uh, front loader arms over with a bucket on it, and now I have to go back and get the bale forks so we can move these things around once we get down in there, but. Yeah, we're off and running, and 
I feel kind of flustered, you know, like when you first leave to go on a vacation or something, you swear you forgot something. That's kind of what it feels like. Like, I, I guess I'm ready to record, but uh, <laughs> it still feels like I didn't do something. But that's all right. We'll figure it out as we go. He's just farming, right? Just farming. He's, we might not get two bales out of this field. I thought we would do better than that. We'll go. We got some meat in that row. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is my new favorite baler. It did that all on its own. All you got to do is stop. That's pretty slick. Let's ch try that again. Make sure that it, I wasn't just goofing around there. Didn't have a very long draw bar on it. We can't turn very sharp. Me making a mess there. All right, let's see. A little bit. Look at that. Oh, what a what a fine piece of machinery. It doesn't the best of best of all it doesn't have that uh, annoying buzzer on it. Man, that thing drives me nuts. Cause it starts going off way too soon. Like it's going off before you can do anything about it. All right, well. Two bales and maybe get a third one and we'll be done with this field. I don't know if we really need an auto load trailer at this rate, do we? That's alright, we do have a hayloft on the uh, sheep farm too, so. Guess, well, that being said, we have a hayloft, but I don't have a loading wagon, so I don't really have any way to get any hay into the hayloft. Huh. That's something we'll have to work on. That's all right. We uh, we spent most of Adrian's money, and I think we're going to try to hang on to the rest of it here um, for operating expenses. You know, we're going to have to buy seed and fertilizer and all that good stuff. We're going to have to buy trailer loads of it. We did get one. Yeah, I like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So yeah, that's how it's going to go here. We're going to try to do a little more actual farming. You're going to have to watch me uh, watch me do the mundane stuff. But that's, uh, that's, that's, that's kind of a point, you know? We've gotten to where we only want to see 100 meter plows going at 90 miles an hour. Nah, yeah, okay, let's see. Hard to see what's left here. Yeah, I think we're done here. That's close enough. Let's run this back to the farm. We have some more fields around here that we need to cut. Let's stop and take a look at the map here for a minute. All right, let's see what we're working with. Okay, uh, down here, this area right here, this is where we are. Oh, look, Farmer Min is coming down in the combine right there. He's going to head up to field number one there. So this is where we're staying. We're actually we're staying in the house right here at the arable farm. Uh, we're taking care of the sheep and the chickens here. It's gonna be our little area of responsibility. So we got five, six, and seventy-two. Those are grass fields we need to cut. Uh, Thirty-one right here is the one we're in now. The one we just did. And uh, these three arable fields we're gonna use for the pig farm. Field sixty-nine will be our corn field just because it's larger and that's what uh, they're gonna need the most of. Field number 73 is a nice little tiny field. Not tiny, but it's it's a small field. So we're going to use that for a root crop. And field number one is the wheat field over there. So the one he's getting ready to do now. So I guess once he gets going on that, we can uh, we can take the baler over there and bale some straw up. That would be a pretty good thing to do, I guess. So that will help clean that field up. And then, let's see, up here is where Farmer Men is staying. He's got fields 39 and 40. 39 is ready to harvest, but it has cotton in it. And we we can't find a way to lease the equipment necessary to get the cotton out of there for less than what the cotton is. You know what I mean? Just thirty thousand dollars worth of equipment needed to get that out of there, and it's only twenty thousand dollars worth of cotton in there. So it just just doesn't make sense. So we're gonna go ahead and plow that in as much as it pains us to do it. And he also has a grass field right here that we're going to have to cut. So 
We're going to be busy cutting grass for a couple days. Uh, this is the cow farm. This is the one we're going to split. And field 18, 17 and 18 right here are also grass. So Those we will use uh, mainly to make TMR for the cows. Try to keep all that stuff over there just to cut down on the carting. Uh, I love the road system around here. Love the roads. They're very cool, but not something you want to travel on if you don't have to. Uh, not that convenient. So kind of long, kind of windy. I like it. So yeah, that's what we got. We are here in Meadow Grove, and it seems like it's taking us a long time to get here. We did did quite a bit of setup that we didn't uh, anticipate on having to do. So let's see. Here he comes. He is getting on it. Oh, going down the hill. <clears throat> I guess he changed his mind. He's going the other way. Right on. All right, so we'll take this down. Oh, look, there he is. He's calling on the CB right there. Hold on, let's see here. Yes, sir, what's going on? I am doing good. I am uh, got the phone going off in here and trying to explain to people what we're doing. I just got done bailing and heading your way. Did I lose you? All right, I'm gonna figure out this CB thing here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm qualified to do this and drive down the road at the same time. <laughs> I am certainly driving all over the road. I know that. All right. Well, <laughs> this will be exciting. So yeah, we also have CBs and detractors, so uh, you never know when one of us is going to break in on the other guy there. Pretty cool. We'll testing them out. We'll get the hang of it. Get those nailed down. And yeah, that's it. Let's see. I'm going to go. I don't think I'm ready to follow him yet. We'll let him get a little further ahead of us. So I'm going to go grab the front loader arms and the bale fork from the store. I'll go ahead and take care of that. And I'll get the hay bales down here and we can start feeding the sheep and get them some water. So at least they'll be producing, uh, producing wool while we're doing everything else. So let me jump on that and I'll be right back. All right. We got our bale forks picked up. We got our bales picked up. We are I always just about miss this turn. It is kind of a U-shaped road, so if you miss this one, I'm sorry, you just go and pick up the next road and bring it in the other way, but uh, yeah, I always forget about this one. So we'll take these in, get these guys, whoa, get these uh, sheep on the go there, look at them out around the hayloft out there, and then I think we should probably go maybe run up to Farmer Men's Farm and grab the dump truck, the Zeal. And bring it down so he'll have somewhere to empty those the wheat into. I think he's probably just about full up there. Matter of fact, I don't see him up there. He may be going to do that himself now. <laughs> We're also going to have a big nugget pile on this farm. I can tell you that. Because these chickens just have no respect for themselves. They don't mind not being chickens anymore. I don't know how dangerous this is. I don't believe... All right, let's see now. How are we going to do this? Oh, stick the bale forks in the gas tank there. That wouldn't be good, would it? All right, let's see. I think I can back straight over. I think in theory, a person would be able to back straight over there. I don't, doesn't necessarily mean I can do it, but, uh, how about that? I'm going to drop them right there. 
see what happens anyways. There we go. Uh oh. Yeah, we're gonna clear and everything. Alright. Perfect. Let's see, I'll just leave that running for a second. Look at all them flashing lights. Goodness gracious. They ought to know we're coming, don't they? We got a chick magnet. Look at that. That's what every farm needs. So we got a chick magnet with a big old water tank on the back. We'll go ahead and throw this dude in here. Out of the way, sheep. All right. So we got. Uh, let's see what they're looking like there. Yeah, we have thirty of them. They have. Oh, we just about filled them up with. Hey, perfect. So four bales would have done it. That's great news. And now the water's full. Uh, pigs. He hasn't done anything with the pigs yet. We're gonna have to get them some food. And same for the chickens. They are. Well, at least they're clean, right? They are all about some cleanliness. All right, so here's what we'll do. Well, I say here's what we'll do. What we should do, what we're going to attempt to do, uh, without calling farm men on the CB there, I'm going to fill this up with water and take it up there for the pigs so that he can use it when he's ready. And... If he has not already got the zeal, the dump truck, then I will jump at it and bring it back down here. So we're going to have to be a lot better about uh, getting ourselves to and fro since we're not magically transporting over there. And I have to think about the vehicles we take. So I kind of like that. That's pretty cool. Be a neat little challenge to, uh, you know, I'm not saying I'm never going to tab over to a vehicle sometimes, especially off camera. It's just, it just makes sense as a time saver, but. <clears throat> we're going to try to do it this way and it's uh i like it it's a good challenge open lid refill the water so yeah you got this little ford right here right in the road and it's just a little loop road from my farm over kind of the long way around to the pig farm so it's kind of convenient uh, it's way it's it's conveniently inconvenient about that it's, it's way far away but at least it's not a complex system of roads to get there so pretty cool I like it. I think we're going to have a good time here. This is a great map. I really like this. This is, this is a lot of fun. Um, with so many fields. Um, and, and reasonably priced fields. That's what I love is... Oh, must have been an autosave on the server there. Okay, that, one, that was me right there. Can't blame that one on anybody. That was a crash. The first one was auto save. So, yeah, like I say, I think, <laughs> I think this is the back way up there to the big farm. Still learning my way around here. Hope we don't meet anybody. These are some tight little roads here. But they're also perfect. I mean, look at these. I can't wait to start buying some of these things up and get in here with my force root and start cutting grass. I mean, look at this. They're just, they're just neat, you know. Little fences everywhere to get you in and out of fields. Two entrances. Look at this little road. That's perfect. I like it. I think this is the road I need to be on. Yeah. I think that's the pig farm up there, so... Let's see where this one goes. We'll figure it out. If not, we'll just come through here and open these gates up, and hopefully nobody gets mad at us, right? What we hope. How can they get mad at us? Yeah, that's not even possible. Alright. Let's see. What's here? There's something. I don't think we own that. We were, Farmer Men and I were talking as we drove around uh, on our tour the other day that we, Adrian pretty much owns the whole town here. If it's a building that's not a house, I think he owns it, so... Look, there's a horse stable. I've never seen that before. Huh. I don't think we own this. I'll have to ask Adrian about this. Be a nice little, nice little spot for horses. Like I said, we don't have a horse pen, so 
fairly certain we don't own that. I'm trying to get there without using a map, and I don't know if we can do that or not. <laughs> I think we're going to have to consult somebody here. Looking like a dead end. That doesn't look like it either, does it? Hmm. Well, he's certainly going to be full in the combine before we get back at this rate. There's a sign up here. Let's see what that. Oh, pig farm. Look at that. That's a perfect sign. That's what we needed. All right, pig farm right here. Okay, so that road does take us all the way around. That is pretty neat to know. Um, we can just jump on there and take the back way around. There wasn't any traffic on there, so pretty cool. Back up here. Go ahead and shut that off while it's unloading. And I think the zeal is in there, maybe. Let's see. I know what we got going on up here at his pig farm. I don't want to go rooting around and everything. Huh. See what all this is. Oh, that's the silo. That's where we drop the crops off. So, what's in here? There we go. There's a zeal. Let's jump in this thing. Take it down there. If, oh, is it still running? Huh. And do a little tune up on this thing. Get a zeal auto uh, auger wagon right there. A seed tender. We're going to use that truck to uh, purchase our seed and fertilizer and bring it back to the farm. So that's pretty cool. We'll see if we can get this thing over to Farmer Min and get him emptied out there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the long drive over and I'll be right back. All right. Well, we got the water taken care of. We got the uh, harvester emptied for Mr. Farmer Min. He is moving over to, the, I believe he's gonna do the canola on field 69 there, the big field. Uh, so he's gonna get that knocked out and I'm gonna try to figure out where he started. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he must have started at this end. Yeah. Yeah, I even got down there. Alright, so I'm going to figure out where he started and I'm going to bail this straw up. I uh, was going to go do some more grass cutting, but... I'm uh, going to have to turn my hood back on so I can see what I'm doing. I'm not sure if that was picking up or not. It was not. Alright. There we go. Alright. We can run it like that. All right. So anyway, yeah, like I say, I was going to get the force root and go uh, continue the cutting. We have lots and lots of grass that needs to be cut. And one thing I'm good at is cutting grass. So I was going to do that. But uh, I think the most important thing is to, to get the animals what they need to, uh, to be productive while we are off doing other tasks. So we'll get the animals going first. We'll get the straw bailed up here. I'm getting a lot of lag right there. And then we'll get back to cutting, so. I don't see a whole lot of straw bales in here, but there's one right off the bat, so. What do I know? Wait, did that come out of straw or grass? That's a hay bale, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, so I'll have to come over and get that one. I can't forget that's in here. Because I guess we were already halfway full of hay when we started it, so. See if we can follow the straw swath here. What was this guy doing? <laughs> he was in here going everywhere. Don't none of them go more than more than a lane. Ah, who knows, right? Who knows with that guy? At least it was on camera. Well, we hope it was on camera. We'll be able to see what he did. We're picking up more straw than I thought. We're already at the second bale here. Perfect. Yeah, this is going to be all right. So we get, well, I guess that's the first straw bale technically. Yeah. So we got one. We should get three or four out of here easy. 
get these rows knocked out we'll get this done like I say got a bunch of cutting to do the force rate we got the tighter that goes on the front so it doesn't cover a lot of grass but it doesn't really need to because the way the force rate cuts and wind rows so you know you really only need that tether that does the swath so it actually works really really well um, especially if you do what we learned on Grizzly and, and alternate your uh, your path, you know, point them each towards the middle there and you can make two windrows into one, so that's what we're going to do. Oh, but I just left this server, that's not good. I was getting some lag too, I wonder what happened there, he might have got disconnected. There was Something was going on there a second ago. It seems better now. All right. Anyways, yeah, that's it. We are here. We are excited. We are doing real work. We're gonna do it as as real as we're capable of doing it. Anyways, this is not gonna be a, a dagger when realism is key kind of thing, but it's gonna be a lot more realistic than what we've been doing and and what most other people are doing now. So we're gonna. Oh, there he comes. We're going to try to do it the old school way. Just play the game to be playing it. No uh, no end game in sight. So, see how it goes. See if we can make a day-to-day -day solvent operation. You know, we don't lose money every midnight. and doesn't necessarily mean you own a million dollars worth of things. So, I'm looking forward to it. It's already been a tremendous amount of fun. I haven't even started recording yet, really. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it a lot. Um... But, yeah, with that being said, you know how it goes. I think that's the end of it. I want to thank you for coming and hanging out with me. I'm Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you to have a good day.